Well, good morning, boys and girls. Uh, it's time to do another question uh, in our catechism. That still sounds like a painful word, doesn't it? Uh, anyhow, we're up to question number 13 uh, this week. But before we do number 13, let's see if you can remember question number 12, which Jamie did with you last week. Uh, question number 12 is this. It's going to come up on the screen and let's say the question and the answer one after the other. The question is, have you a soul as well as a body? Yes, I have a soul that can never die. Now, that seems like a bit of an odd question, doesn't it? Jamie did briefly ask, what is a soul? And we learned last week that it isn't one of these. Um, and yeah, that's just as smelly as the one that Jamie had. Um, what is your soul? That is the question this week. Question number 13, what is your soul? But we're not going to do the answer just yet, um, because I want us to think about that a little bit first. Are there parts of you which you can't really see? You know, I can see and I can touch my hand, can't I? I can see and I can touch my hair um, and I can act in certain ways that I can see. But there are parts of me which you don't know what's going on and I can sort of hide from you if I wanted to. Just to help us see how that works a bit more, I'm going to do an experiment and I'm going to tell a very very funny joke. I wonder if I can find any. Oh, hold on. There's a, there's some. Uh, yeah. Should we go and ask them? Um, when I ask them the joke, what I want you guys to do is to really concentrate on the reaction of each of them to the joke that I tell. Morning, guys. All right. Lovely day, isn't it? Would you mind if I tell you a really, really funny joke? Okay, all right, here's the joke. What do you call a bird with a couple of tins? I don't, don't know. know. What do you call a bird with a couple of tins? You call it a toucan. A toucan. Oh, Dad, that's so embarrassing. Where are you going? A toucan. Oh, so funny! <laughs> Where'd you get out from? Oh. Well, did you see uh, the reactions? Did you notice that all three of them had a pair of ears? They all heard the same joke, didn't they? Uh, but the responses were very different. And if you don't know what a toucan looks like, there he is. That is a toucan. And what a great joke. Write that down and you can use it one day yourselves, I'm sure. But let's just think about each of the responses. Emily was the first one and she had a completely deadpan face, didn't she? She wasn't giving anything away on the outside and it was clear, wasn't it, that she probably knew the answer but she just wasn't going to respond. Whereas Lydia, it was a real problem for her to keep her feelings in. Uh, she hated the fact that dad, dad was telling a joke to a camera. And even though it was a great joke, she couldn't handle that. And she was almost physically sick and had to, had to run away because uh, that was what she was feeling inside. That was what her heart was like uh, towards her dad. And then Thomas was, was probably taking pity on me, wasn't it? He, he laughed out loud or he tried to, didn't he? Uh, but he thought it would be good to help dad by laughing at dad's joke. What a lovely boy. But uh, there you go, three different responses. And responses that were governed by what we think and what we feel and then the decisions that we take. And all of those are parts of your soul, the inner you, the bit that people can't see. And we didn't know what was going on in each of their heads, did we? We were, we, we're guessing, uh, and I'm trying to, to tell you, but we don't really know. Um, 
And, and therefore, it's different from our physical bodies. Your soul is the bit that is inside. But also, your soul is given to you by God. God made your soul. God gave you your body and your hands and, and everything that you have. But he's also given us the bit that people can't see. So God made your soul as well. Our problem is that we think and we feel for all of the wrong things without God. Um, and yet God has given us these things. Here's a verse in the Bible that shows us how we can use our soul. Psalm 103 verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. The reason God gave us a soul was so that we can know him. We can know who he is, we can love him, and that we can follow him in our lives. Back to our question, what is your soul? The answer is, my soul is the part of me that should know and love God. So shall we say that together? What is your soul? My soul is the part of me that should know and love God. We are going to pray now and thank God for giving us our souls, uh, but also thanking him for sending Jesus to save us, to save our souls. Uh, but we're going to do um, something we do at Holiday Club, which is prayer drill. So if you can do that with me, can you remember? We do one, two, and three. Dear Lord God, thank you for your goodness to us in so many ways. You are the God who has made everything and you have made us. You've made our physical bodies and you've also given us our souls. Help us to think about the things that you say to us. Help us in our hearts to love you and to be thankful to you for all of your goodness, to thank you for sending Jesus. And I pray that you'd help each of us, as old as we are or as young as we are, to follow Jesus and to decide to do that each and every day of our lives. We pray you be with all the people who are affected by what's going on in our country and our world at the moment. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, we're going to hopefully sing a really joyful song together.